I do. There's a couple. Go well, ahead. Go ahead. Not too many questions, but I have the chat open. I don't know if you see somebody just asked, would you guys jump into the finance space again? If you were starting now, I assume they mean YouTube. 150,000%. I, I couldn't agree more. And well, why, why would you, why do you say that so instantly? It's my passion. We have different reasons. Yeah. That's it's my thing. passion, but it's also, I think if I was still watching, which I'm sure I would have been, finance content from when I started to now, I would have got a lot better understanding of like how a good channel could grow yeah. because you got to think like, dude, when you and I started, there was like 10 to 15 other like legit finance channels out there. Now there's probably a, over a hundred. Like I remember like seeing whiteboard finance, positive Jer investing, Brandon Jeremy. Beavis, Jeremy Graham, um, Ryan Scribner. Ryan Scribner, Nate O'Brien, like all those guys were doing, they were on there for like a year before I started because I was watching yeah. all their content. Right. And then I finally, I guess, grew a big enough balls and I'm like, all right, let's do this. You know, I'm going to start my, and I, dude, I had, oh, you guys can go back and watch my first video. Mine too. It's bad. It's cringy. Yours is much better than mine. You think so? Yours is much better than no. mine. No. Dude, mine is so. Bad. Did you script your first one out or did you just press record and go? Dude, I did it in my office on my lunch period. Yes. With like my uh 2009 MacBook and like like the audio it, it, dude, bad. I took Love it down it. for a while and people were like, "Where's that first mm -hmm. video?" But I mean, I think there's like two things to look at it like before and after. So would I go back now knowing? I would go back one because doing this now for almost four years, September will be four years for me. I think that you have to love talking about what you're talking about, regardless if you think other people are going to listen. So true. And I can literally talk about VTSAX and, and, and financial independence and ways to strategize money all day. Like yeah. I'm that guy. Like I talk about it. Like when I was, when I was plant-based, like, you know, like, how do you know there's a vegan in the room? Don't worry. They'll mm -hmm. tell you. How do you know there's mm -hmm. a CrossFitter in the room? Don't, Don't worry. worry. They'll, they'll tell you. you. How do you know there's somebody that likes to talk money in the room? I'll tell you. And then also knowing what I know now, we also, and like I said, I used to feel so ashamed talking about this, but it's okay now. We, in this space, our ad revenue, we get paid more than other yeah. niches. And I think a that's like, and I think that's a bonus too. I mean, I teach high school kids that stream and have thousands of more subscribers than me. And I make thousands more dollars than me because they're making under a dollar per thousand views where I know that I'm well up over the $25 mark, JJ. And I think you're pretty much in the same. So it's like knowing that too makes it easier, but you have to want to talk about it. And somebody asked like, is it oversaturated our space? YouTube is not oversaturated. And anybody that, tell, anybody that tells you so either just doesn't believe in like your mission or doesn't want you to compete with them because they feel uh, intimidated by you. There are so many free – think about this. Well, hang on. Let me say this real Go quick because they're – like I, I kind of agree with you, but I also – like I get where Sly's coming from. Like it is definitely – there's a lot more channels and a lot more to stick out from. But hang on. Where I think that comes into play is you need to stick out somehow. It's a – it, it really – it. I mean – it's a little harder for you to stick out now than it was you and I, you know, two and a half, three years ago. Because I disagree with you because I know so many people that started YouTube way after us. Like take Stockmo, for example. Dude hasn't even been on YouTube for a year. He has 500,000 subscribers. Sam, my financial friend, he started what, a year ago? Dude's dope. Great. And like I said, the, all these channels like um, uh, Zeke from the uh, Green Money Show he started recently yeah. even even chris saying he's like a year old on youtube yeah so i think a year old if we were saying that there's like the saturated market now granted like you mentioned each one of those people has their own individuality that makes them unique and drives them into their own direction like yeah you can't be a copycat but everybody has a story to tell and that story is far from saturated i mean i bump into people all the time that quote know about personal finance and I'll bring up somebody like Graham Stephan and they have no idea who it is. Yeah, that's true. So if, or how many times did JJ have we joked back and forth? Like, 
anybody that knows about you knows about me or anybody that knows about me knows about you. And then somebody raised their hand, like had no idea JJ Buckner exists. And I've been subscribed to you for six months. I'll wait to hear this voicemail. That's a perfect example. Okay. So like, is it saturated? No, there's a lot of people. And I mean, did we deviate into the podcast space because we're trying to get an unsaturated market and Mm -hmm. trying to deviate from that. But if, if my buddy came up to me today, he's like, Brad, I have a unique spin on personal finance Go and, for I have it. Un- and I have a unique story to tell. Maybe I came and I followed this path, which is unique or interesting. And I'm like, do you feel like telling that story for four years? So and if you do, then you should start a YouTube channel today. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I agree with you, but you can't grow. I don't think right now. And I may be wrong. I may be wrong about this, you're but wrong. if you're a new channel, talking about like five ways to save money or like you know the shit you and I talked about when we first started and with our YouTube channels or like I can't even think of it right now Dave Ramsey shit yeah I mean like well no that made Dave Ramsey could possibly pop because it's searchable but like you know five mistakes I made as a with my money as a 30 year old you know like like all the typical finance content like two years ago I don't think that stuff really works for new channels. You almost have to do like the like the guys you named that that popped real quick is content that is how do I say this? It's clickable content. But would you say that the if you want to have a, like the longevity of your channel that those early videos that nobody watches that's kind of your learning curve. Like it's almost better people don't see those early videos. Oh, a hundred percent agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Sly, if you're asking if you should start a YouTube channel, my answer Do is it. yes. Do yes. it. Yes. The answer, the simple answer, and I, I do it for at least a year and expect zero subscribers. Yeah. You'll be successful. And I remember like even a hundred bucks a month was so fun. Oh my God, dude. When I made my first hundred dollars a month, I was like, what? Because they, they don't pay you till you have a hundred dollars like quote in the bank, like banked up in YouTube ads. So like when you first start, like take for example this podcast, this channel, we've been monetized for two months. We haven't gotten paid yet because we're getting like twenty two dollars a month, and you have to get a hundred before they'll pay you. And I think I was monetized same. I was monetized for a couple of months, getting twenty thirty bucks, and then when I finally hit that hundred dollar and got that hundred dollar check, it made everything worth it. It really did. And it's pretty crazy. And all you're doing... Well, I think what's crazy is that you're getting paid for something that's, like, enjoyable to do. And, like, you're talking about something that you truly care to talk about. Because, like, I know for me, like, being at my 9 to 5 and stuff, like, not every time I'd go into a meeting or do whatever, if I had to hold a conference, or I'd like, I freaking hate this. Why am I doing this? I didn't care to talk about it. I didn't know a lot about the certain subject I was bullshitting a lot. You know, I mean, you know how it goes like with work stuff, yeah. like to where this is like, I want to spend the time. I want to know. I want to, uh, and it's a great outlet. I mean, so, this is one Such of those a great outlet. things where like your friends and your wife doesn't want to hear about it. So starting a YouTube channel was literally like, just talking to my channel. And I've, I've mentioned before, I don't know if I lean. I do. If you say, hang on, sorry. <laughs> Perfect title. <laughs> For a starting YouTube channel, <laughs> why do just going to the moon? <laughs> Done. Best, best title ever. So true. But like I have, for those of you that follow me on YouTube, if you see way back there, that, and I've talked about this before, that's my brother's football jersey. My brother passed away. And when I started the channel, I was literally just talking to a dead guy. Like, sorry, bro. You can't tell me to shut up. You can't roll your eyes. You can't start texting while I'm texting. Like, so that's how it started for me. I'm just going to sit and talk. And some people just have things to say. But yeah, why Doge is going to the moon is an outstanding. So good. But I'll tell you this, just like the stimulus people that blew up and got 100,000 subscribers in two yep. months when the, when their stimulus videos came out. Be careful jumping on trends. They can blow up a channel. And if you do it right, it can work. But I hate to pat myself on the back, but I've been like the slow grinder the whole time. Yeah. And people have had their shot and jumped up. And then slowly but surely, subs and revenue, I caught up. And then I kept doing what was what was good for me, what I was passionate about, what I could continue to talk about. And people blew up past me. And I slowly caught up. 